Altea Eloise Perpadillo. I'm from Hume Swan, and our lesson for today is about domain and range of a function. So what is domain and range? Domain is all possible x values of a function, while range is all possible y values of a function. We have four different ways how to represent function. First is ordered pairs, second table of values, third graph, and fourth equation. Now let's start to identify our domain and range. So here is the example of our ordered pairs. X represents the domain and then Y represents the range. So the domain is negative 1, 0, 2, and 4. And then the range is negative 5, 0, 1, and 6. It's easy, right? Now, let's have another example. The domain is negative 4, 0, 2, and 7. The range is negative 9 and negative 1, 0, and 5. Now, let's move on to our table of values x represents the domain and then y represents the range so the domain is 1 2 3 and 4 and then the range is 3 5 7 9 and 12 let's proceed to our next example so the domain is negative 1 0 3 4 and 5 and then the range is 0, 5, 10, and 15. Let's now identify our domain and range using graph. As you can see in our graph, if the given point is shaded, we will use bracket. If not, we will use parenthesis. Our domain is negative 3 and 0, but in our set notation, x such that negative 3 greater than x greater than or equal to 0. Range is negative 4 and 1. In our set notation, y such that greater than or equal to negative 4. y is greater than 1. Let's proceed to our next example. Our domain is negative infinity and infinity. Same as the range, but our set notation in domain is x such that x is an element of all real numbers while range is y such that y it's an element of all real numbers thank you for listening i hope you learned a lot from me goodbye